In video production, there are several tools that you have to have in your toolkit. For the lighting designer, it's the C47. Look it up. For the gaffer, well, it's gaff tape. Producers have clipboards, directors have viewfinders, and audio technicians have and then promptly lose their quarter inch adapters. Which is why no self-respecting technical director should go to work without one of these in their back pocket. This is the new Tech Spark Plus IO 4K. So today we're gonna put the Spark on the bench and see what inside it requires you to never be without one. There have been several iterations of the Spark over the years. The first variations were limited to NDI encode only versions. Feed it baseband video and you got NDI out the other end. But just like Swiss Army Knife, the Spark 4K has multiple functions. It can be set to either an encoder or a decoder, but not at the same time. That's a different product and uh, we'll cover that another time. These come in a couple of flavors, 3G SDI or 12G SDI, and one HDMI version that can handle resolutions all the way up to Ultra HD. All of them are PoE compliant, support pass-through of the incoming video source, and have tally lights that indicate when they're being used on air, making this little box the San Antonio NDI multi-tool of choice for TDs everywhere. Now, under the hood in encode mode, it's fairly easy to navigate across the top. We get network settings and the ability to switch between encode and decode mode. And after that, the only major choices are to set a device name. Now, this is the name that is going to be called on the NDI network. You also get your choice of audio source and whether or not it's in multicast mode or unicast. Now, as to why you need one, how many times has someone said, we put a camera uh, over there and you didn't plan for one to be over there? In, in a traditional SDI infrastructure, that's not always convenient or even possible. But with a Spark Plus in your pocket, find a network port nearest your camera and you're done. The Spark is the perfect tool for the last minute laptop add-on, a camera in the rafters, or even when someone walks in with content coming from a baseband switcher. Why, I don't know, but it happens. We even see these as a bridge between AV over IP systems from the likes of Lumens, Crestron, Kramer, and many others. Okay. Now we're gonna flip the switch and your NDI multi-tool becomes a decoder. In decode mode, there are actually a few more options here. The biggest changes are going to be the ability to change outgoing formats and audio selections. But the real sweet spot is right here. This is a list of all the NDI sources on your network. This button will immediately take that selection and output it over HDMI or SDI, depending on your model. This button, however, allows you to set this source to a preset. Now notice there are nine presets and a color or black source. With these presets, you can have all your favorite sources queued up and ready so that all the user has to do is click the one they want without hunting around for them. These presets are also available via the API, meaning a third party application like a macro on a TriCaster or a Crestron Kramer QSYS system could be triggering these changes for you. Now, one word to note here is that even though you can see NDI and NDI HX sources in the selection table, the Spark can't decode HX. It will throw up an error message like this one here. Well, it's bridge to the rescue. NDI bridge has a local mode that will rebroadcast local NDI sources in whatever NDI flavor you need. By choosing high bandwidth mode, you can upconvert the HX signals to full NDI and now they all work with the Spark. All right, there are so many great uses for a Spark. A last minute projector or TV that someone wants to use on set is easily fed by a Spark in decode mode. A producer or director that wants a broadcast monitor in a place you didn't plan for can now have one. And we have a client that uses one of these to drive their teleprompter. So the TD has total control over the town's teleprompter so they control how fast the tele- Hey, 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 wait a minute. Apparently that's me. Come on, Jordan, put me back. Okay, and because the teleprompter is NDI fed, it can even be used to show the interviewee on a remote production so that you're looking at the camera and the remote guest at the same time. Now, we've got one other client who creates a multi-viewer and then encodes it to NDI and sends it around the network. The team backstage has a spark connected to a monitor so they can watch what's going on on stage, multicam. The possibilities are endless. 
There are so many great uses for a Spark Plus in your video production life, so if you don't have one, order one. Operators are standing by. Better yet, if you're looking for a last minute stocking stuffer, these will fit in any North American standard stocking. Believe it. Okay, that's our show. Call, click, or email for more info and send us your crazy uses for a Spark. We'd love to hear them. And we'll see you on the next episode.